Welcome back to Catalyst University. My name is Kevin Tokoff. Please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for future videos and notifications. In this video, we're going to be discussing pulmonary function test values and how to answer questions on the NPTE. When it comes to the NPTE, if you have these four things memorized, you can answer literally every single question regarding pulmonary function test values on the exam. The first thing we're going to look at is how to draw this basic graph right here, which is obviously incomplete. Let's go into it right now. You're going to start by drawing five horizontal lines like this right on top of one another. When you draw these five horizontal lines, you leave spaces. One, two, three, and four spaces between the lines. Each one of these spaces corresponds to one of the basic pulmonary function test values. The one at the top here is IRV. This is the inspiratory reserve volume. TV is the tidal volume. ERV is the expiratory reserve volume. And RV is the residual volume. Now just to hit some basic definitions here, the tidal volume, or TV, is the total volume inspired and expired with each breath during quiet breathing. So when you're just sitting there on the couch watching TV and you're not even thinking about breathing, just that total volume inspired and expired with each cycle of breathing, that is the tidal volume. Now above that is the inspiratory reserve volume. This is the maximal volume of air that can be inspired after normal tidal volume inspiration. So what does that mean? So as you're just quietly breathing, once you get to the top of one of those normal quiet inhalations, then immediately take a maximal inhalation, breathe in as much air as you can. The volume of air that you inhale beyond what you had inhaled at the end of tidal volume, that is the inspiratory reserve volume. We also have the ERV, the expiratory reserve volume, which is the analog of the IRV, but it's for expiration. So by definition, the expiratory reserve volume is the maximal volume of air that can be exhaled after a normal tidal exhalation. So when you're doing your normal tidal volume, obviously you're breathing in and out, and when you're doing a quiet exhalation, as soon as you get to the end of that exhalation, you then forcibly exhale as much air as you can. The amount of air that you exhale beyond what you had exhaled after the tidal volume, that is the expiratory reserve volume. And then the residual volume is the amount of air that no matter how hard or long you exhale, you're never going to be able to get rid of this volume of air. So this is the volume of gas remaining in the lungs at the end of a maximal expiration or exhalation. We're jumping ahead here to number three, but you need to know the four basic percentages of total lung volume. So for the IRV, the RV, the ERV, and the TV. So for the inspiratory reserve volume, IRV, this is 50% of the total lung volume in a healthy adult. And by the way, all of these values are for a healthy adult. Next is residual volume. This is a quarter of total lung volume, 25%. Expiratory reserve volume, ERV, is 15% of total lung volume. And then tidal volume is the smallest, only 10%. And if you add all of these up, it does total up to 100%. Now back to number two here, you also need to know the definitions for these parameters right here. Total lung capacity, vital capacity, inspiratory capacity, and the functional residual capacity. So we're showing two of them right here, and we'll see the other two in a minute. TLC is the total lung capacity. By definition, it is the volume of air in the lungs after a maximal inspiration or inhalation. In other words, it's the sum of all these basic lung volumes. So it'd be the IRV plus the TV plus the ERV plus the RV. It's all four of those. And obviously, it's going to be 100% of total lung volume because it is the total lung volume. Then we have the vital capacity, VC. The vital capacity, by definition, is the volume change that occurs between maximal inspiration and maximal expiration. Remember, there's a certain volume in the lungs you can't get rid of. That's the residual volume, and it remains even after that maximal expiration. So the vital capacity is simply the total lung capacity minus the residual volume. So it would be the IRV plus the TV plus the ERV. Then we have these two over here. Let's look at IC, or inspiratory capacity. The inspiratory capacity, by definition, 
is the maximum volume of air that can be inspired after a normal tidal exhalation. So at the bottom of the tidal volume. That being said, inspiratory capacity is the sum of the IRV and the TV, or tidal volume. We could also say the inspiratory capacity is the vital capacity minus the expiratory reserve volume. You can see that, hopefully. Then we have the functional residual capacity, or FRC, which by definition is the volume of air in the lungs after a normal exhalation or expiration, meaning after the bottom of tidal volume. So it includes the expiratory reserve volume and the residual volume. You'll also notice here that if we added the inspiratory capacity plus the functional residual capacity, we'd have the total lung capacity. And then we have these formulas right here. And these formulas are really the definitions you need to know. It certainly helps to know the wordy definition of all of these, but really knowing the formulas for each of these is really what's going to help you when you're taking the NPTE. And then the last thing, number four here to memorize, is that the average total lung capacity for a healthy adult is 5,000 milliliters. You can certainly use five liters, but it's going to be more helpful just to know that 5,000 milliliters. So if you know all four of these things right here, do you need to know the percentage of vital capacity? No, because you can figure it out. You don't have to memorize it. Do you need to know the percentage of inspiratory capacity? No, you can figure it out. These percentages over here, you can figure out if you know these percentages over here and the basic formulas. I'll show you how to do that in a few minutes. Do you need to know the individual volumes for each of these, like the number of milliliters of IRV, the number of milliliters of tidal volume? No, you can figure those out because you know the percentages and you know the total lung capacity is 5,000 milliliters. I'm going to show you how to do all that stuff in addition to answering some other questions right now. So first question, the vital capacity, or VC, is the sum of what pulmonary function test values? The NPTE likes these questions. Well, the vital capacity is going to be the inspiratory reserve volume, IRV, plus the tidal volume, plus the ERV. Which basic pulmonary function test value is the largest in a healthy adult? Well, if you know the percentages, then you know the answer. It's going to be the inspiratory reserve volume, which is 50%. Conversely, they could also ask which one is the smallest in a healthy adult, and that would be the tidal volume, which is only 10%. Residual volume normally occupies what percentage of total lung volume in a healthy adult? Again, that's just knowing these percentages, so it's 25% for residual volume. Here's one, inspiratory capacity, or IC, is what percentage of total lung volume? So for this question, you need to know two things. One, you need to know the mathematical definition of inspiratory capacity, that it's IRV plus TV, but you also need to know the individual percentages of those two values, okay? So for inspiratory capacity, it's going to be the inspiratory reserve volume, which is 50%, plus the tidal volume, which is 10%, so 50 plus 10% is 60%. So the inspiratory capacity is going to be about 60% of the total lung volume in a healthy adult. Now for this question, what is the normal tidal volume in a healthy adult? This is asking about the actual volume in milliliters. How many milliliters is the normal tidal volume? Now do you have to have the number of milliliters memorized for IRV, TV, ERV, etc.? Absolutely not. Work smarter, not harder. We know that the total lung volume or total lung capacity is 5,000 milliliters, and we know these percentages, so we can simply calculate. So the total lung volume on average is 5,000 milliliters. Tidal volume is 10% or 0 0.10, and so 5,000 times 0 0.10 is 500 milliliters, and that would be the normal tidal volume in a healthy adult. Now for this last one, what is the normal functional residual capacity, or FRC, in a healthy adult? This is kind of like the previous question, but it's putting multiple concepts together. Now the FRC, we can figure out what percentage of total lung volume it is. We don't have to have it memorized. Remember, FRC is the ERV plus the RV. So the ERV, or expiratory reserve volume, is 15%. 
the re residual volume, or RV, is 25%. So the FRC is going to be the sum of those, 15% plus 25%. So a normal functional residual capacity is 40% of the total lung volume. But we need the actual volume, not the percentage. But we can just remember that the total lung volume is 5,000 milliliters. And so we'll take that 5,000 and multiply by 40%, or 0 0.40, which we just figured out, and we get 2,000 milliliters. So the normal functional residual capacity is going to be 2,000 milliliters. So hopefully this video gave you a good overview for doing questions related to the pulmonary function lab values. And hopefully you see that you don't have to memorize everything. You need four basic things, and from that, you can pretty much answer every single question on the NPTE. Thanks for tuning in. Please like, subscribe, and check out my Instagram for cool science and not science stuff.